This, this is Entertainment 97. Entertainment 97. Welcome to Entertainment 97. For the love of music, information, reviews, the movies, and the party scene. Entertainment 97. Coming up, local and international entertainment news highlights. Entertainment flashback in 60 seconds. This week's hot happenings and check this out. Good afternoon, I'm Heather Cummings Williams and this is Entertainment 97. Heading local entertainment news, dancehall superstar Sean Paul is set to join forces with New York-based radio station Hot 97 for his 20th anniversary of Grammy-winning album Dutty Rock. The groundbreaking multi-platinum album became an urban and pop music cultural spectacle, changing the music landscape in 2002 with authentic Jamaican dancehall tracks. The Dutty Rock 20th Anniversary Celebration takes place on November 16 at Webster Hall in New York City. Sean Paul continues to build his legacy, scoring high-profile collabs with global superstars. In international entertainment news, iconic rap group Salt and Pepper are the latest celebrities to get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. They'll receive their star in the recording category, which will be presented to them in a ceremony on November 4. The hip-hop pioneers will see their star being placed next to another queen of hip-hop, Missy Elliott. Salt and Pepper comprises of Cheryl James and Sandra Denton, who got their kickstart as a group back in 1985. Their hit single, Push It, became the first rap song by a female act to hit the top 40 of the Billboard Hot 100. Still in international entertainment, Grammy-winning pop star Rihanna has re-entered the music chat as part of the soundtrack for the massive Marvel sequel, Black Panther. Wakanda Forever, her latest single, Lift Me Up, was written as a tribute to the life of late actor Chadwick Boseman, who died in August 2020. The song is co-written by Nigerian songbird Thames, who is also featured on the project with a cover of Bob Marley's 1974 classic, No Woman No Cry. Black Panther Wakanda Forever hits theaters on November 11, with the soundtrack set to debut. Rihanna is also scheduled to return to the stage for the Super Bowl 57 halftime show on February 12, 2023, and we're here for it. This week's entertainment flashback in 60 seconds continues its walk with one of the longest-running reggae acts of all time, Third World. Having all their own musicians on hand, Third World didn't need to rely on sound systems. However, they found it difficult to land a label deal since most labels in Jamaica were operated by sound systems. Third World solved the problem by traveling to England for a tour and subsequently signing with the internationally minded island label. In 1974, Ireland issued their debut single, Railroad Track, and sent them out on a European tour as the opening act for Bob Marley and the Wailers. Their self-titled debut album was released in 1976 and featured a successful cover of the Abyssinian's roots classic, Sata Masagana. The follow-up 1977's 96 in the Shade introduced new drummer Willie Root Stewart and new lead singer William Clark, a.k.a. Bunny Ruggs. It was an enormous critical success in the UK and Europe and bred an all-time classic single in the title track. All this set the stage for the group's commercial breakthrough album, 1978's Journey to Addis, which featured a funky disco-flavored reggae cover of the OJ's Now That We Found Love. The song hit the top 10 on the American R&B charts in 1979 and Third World was drinking from the fountain of international stardom. And that's your bite for this week. Tune in next week, same time, same place for another epic entertainment flashback in 60 seconds. In this week's Hot Happenings, go to Buds and Brushes this Saturday, October 29 at the Kingston Dub Club, 7B Skyline Drive, Kingston 8. Hard proceeds go to Girls First JA at 876 Volunteer. Call 876-598-6715 for details. Nightmare on Hope Road is where it's at for spooky season tonight, Friday, October 28. All roads lead to 100 Kingston in your best Halloween costume. Visit 100 Kingston on IG for info. The Bartender presents Red Carpet Season 7 premiere and after party at 100 Kingston this Sunday, October 30. 
Start time 6 p.m. Musical stylings by the Captain Colin Hines. Admission free. Shell the bars and buy out the menu. Go check out a song with a twist, Quesera Sera by Luis Fonsi and Hiba Tawaji. The song's title is actually a popular term which translates to what's to be will be. Add some spicy Hispanic flavor to your playlists this weekend. And that's it for Entertainment 97. I'm Heather Cummings-Williams. Thanks to technical producer Edson Johnson and producer Abigail Wilson. And thank you for keeping it locked to the coolest station in the nation. If you missed it, catch it anytime on cool97fm.com and click on the Cool TV tile. Catch us again next Friday for your weekly dose of entertainment scoops inside Cool Rhythms with Entertainment 97.